Yo, what is going on people? Episode number two of the Shredding series. As usual, gonna show you a physique update and then weigh myself. So let's start with the uh, physique update. All right, so this is what the uh, up is looking like. Same light as last time. Pretty fucking shredded, if you ask me. Pretty fucking shredded. I had two days of uh, not the best dieting over the weekend. Easter, Sunday, and then the day after that wasn't the best for eating. My hair is awful, I need to brush it. But anyway, yeah, it wasn't the best. Let's weigh ourselves. I reckon I'll be, I don't know. Let me not even check shit, I've already weighed myself, but we'll just do it for the vid, we'll do it for the culture. Oof. All right, so 89 kg with the camera in our hand. I think I was like 88.7 without it or something like that. I was lighter last time. I was lighter in the last video, but I think I've got leaner. I just think I'm, I don't know how the fuck I'm, I weigh more, to be honest. Don't know, don't care. I go off visuals and that's what you guys should go off as well. It's more what you look like, not what you're weighing. Had to cut the clip there. Had to do my hair, it was actually looking shit. I was like looking at myself in the, in the screen here while I was talking, I was like, fuck that. Anyway, yeah, so granddad's round, coming round. Haven't eaten yet at all. I'm gonna fast just because I'm probably gonna get a Nando's after I've been golf. And it's only 20 past 12, I'm not really that hungry yet. I normally try and fast till about one if I can. Um, and also, a tip, right, this is a great tip. Brushing your teeth multiple times in the morning will make you less hungry, because it sort of tells your brain that you're not meant to eat, because you don't really eat right after you brush your teeth. So I thought that was all like a little bit of bollocks, but I've started doing it, brushing my teeth like two or three times in the morning, and it's helping me, like I'm not hungry at all right now, like food is just not on my mind at all. It's not even like I've drunk a lot of water to fill me up either, I'm just fucking doing that tactic. I was built different, all right? Also, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to start doing more long type of videos. So like 20 minute videos, vlogs of all my day and shit like that. Oh, spent about five minutes looking for my uh, pre-workout. It's in a duffel bag. I must have left it at Ed's or something, but if it ain't there, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause it means I got no pre for when gym's open. And you know I need that shit on a cut. Yo, granddad. Hello, man. Say hello to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> Normal lads playing hard style in the car with your grandparents. Every gym lad's got to do it. Stopping off to get some petrol, something I realised, I forgot a mask, so my granddad's gonna go in and see if uh, they get any masks in here. So I always forget them, like, I don't know how, I just always forget them, because it's not in my mental like routine to think, oh, I need a mask, but literally, the new fucking age of shit is you cannot go anywhere without a mask, it needs to be one of your essentials. It's annoying, but it is the way it is. Not gonna lie, time's now one o'clock, and the hunger is proper starting to kick in. I am feeling pretty hungry, but good job of going to Top Golf because I can grab something there. There's nice chicken and rice, a salad, I think I remember. So, yeah, I'll show you the food there anyway. We'll probably be there in about 20 minutes or so. So, yeah, I'll see you when we pull up to Top Golf. <laughs> so, we just turned up, found out you can't get any drinks in there, can't get any food in there. Did you get my bottle of water, Grandad? Yeah, you got it. You got it. No, mine. Oh, don't matter, don't matter. I didn't think you had one. Yeah, yeah, I had one in the front, but it don't matter. Yeah, no water, no drink, so we won't be here for long. We literally both have the patience of, like, <laughs> a fucking baby, and that cue is not moving. In it, in it. I mean, and we wouldn't uh, enjoy it any better than anyone. Yeah. Mean, especially to go to a proper. I mean, the other driving ranges are lovely anyway. Because you don't have to stoop down for the ball, throw them into the hole. Especially, no, the only reason we really come here is because there's food in here as well, isn't it? Like, yeah, where's the worst And, and that, when they said there's no food, no drink, and look at this queue, like, it's just not moving at all. So, like, we're just going to go to another driving range. It was a bit long driving here, wasn't it? All this way, and we... <laughs> we got absolute... Do, yeah, I guess. It's not that deep. We don't mind driving together, really, either. It's not that deep, is it? No. Like, it's slightly annoying though. Stay on the road. Yeah. Yeah. So we're uh, we're gonna go back to Brentwood. 
check out a driving range, yeah. Get a Nando's or something, so yeah. Catch you when we're back in Brentwood. 60 people here. Yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, so just turned up at the other golfing range and of course, that is absolutely rammer. We've never seen it like this, have we? No. Nah. That's never been a queue outside here. This is like in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Yeah. You wouldn't expect all these people and there's literally a queue outside. So we're just gonna go on a walk today, honestly. The time is half two. I've still not eaten anything. Um, so that's going quite well, but it's just annoying. We've done a whole lot of nothing today. This this vlog is a whole load of nothing, but yeah, we're going on a walk. I'll catch you when we're, we're out on the hill somewhere. Well, where are we gonna go? To the Harold Hill loop or, or where else would, would you say? Go back to or you want to go King George's? King George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll go King George's then, yeah. So I'll catch you when we're there. Wave. <laughs> that was a bit of an awkward wave. <laughs> that was a crusty wave there, Giz. <laughs> you went like this. Yeah, <laughs> couple days ago I got uh, I got my granddad some of that vegan protein trying to get shredded for summer aren't we yeah he's on that summer shred we're both coming in with a six-pack this summer eh? Yeah. <laughs> all right so we're about 40 minutes into our walk right and I sort of touch on a topic so a lot of questions I get when cutting are oh how much running should I be doing? How much cardio do I need to do and that? And I think what people don't realize is the one of the best, if not the best way to actually get, make sure you're in a deficit so that you are burning fat. You just by walking, if you walk enough every day, you're burning serious calories. Like for example, right now, I, I haven't checked on my phone, but I'd say we walked about 8,000 steps so far. And uh, we got probably, I don't know, a third of the walk, no, maybe half, half the walk left actually. So you're looking at maybe 16K steps for this walk. And that is probably, I don't know how many calories that's burning, so I'm not gonna hazard a guess, but have a look and see how many calories you're burning. You'd be surprised, because the people think that running is the way to do it. Walking just for longer periods of time is the way to do it. And if you make sure you're active enough, so make sure you're walking to a mate's house if you can, rather than driving or or walking, I don't know, walking to school in the mornings if you can. Even if it's a few miles, that could be the difference between you being in a deficit or not. And it's much better than running in my opinion, like walking, walk with your family, walk with your friends, anything like that. Just walk whenever you can. And you'll actually find that getting into a deficit and burning fat becomes a lot easier. Oh, right, we're back. Gonna head off to Nando's now. The time is literally four o'clock. First thing I've eaten all day long. And I'm not even hungry to be honest, but I just know I couldn't train if I didn't have any food in me. So yeah, we'll get off to Nando's now, and then off to the gym. Let me put the radio on for you. Oh, no. okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. No, you got fish fingers tonight, isn't it? You got fish fingers? I wish I could eat fish fingers. Yeah. I can't I can't be eating them. Yeah. yeah Otherwise but... I won't get them summer shreds. Yeah. This is the Nando's. Large broccoli, rice, and chicken. This will keep me filled up, fuel for the workout, and then probably won't eat till I don't know, God knows when. I don't know. You know Ed's working today, Granddad. Yeah. And he's still he's still at work, so yeah. I think I'm gonna be working out on my own. Yeah. Which is annoying because I don't know I'm gonna set the camera up and shit, but we'll we'll figure that out when we get there. So I'm gonna eat this up, chill with my Granddad, and I'll see you in the gym. All right, so at the gym right now, Ed's not here, which is annoying. Don't have anyone to sort of film. Um, and there's nothing around here that I can really set the camera up on that's gonna give a good angle. The only thing that I'm happy about hitting shoulders is because I can put the camera there and sit on this bench and the angle won't be that bad. But yeah, not what I was planning on doing. I was planning on making a sort of in-depth, longer, different angles, like me and Ed talking, but got to improvise. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna start off, start off warming up the shoulders, the ring light up, so. The lighting should be a little bit better, which isn't bad. I'm, I'm so lucky I was hitting shoulders today, otherwise I'd honestly just be absolutely fucked. 
Because there'd be no way I could, this is like one of the worst gyms for like trying to film stuff if you're on your own and you don't have a tripod. And like an idiot, I left my tripod up at university, so I haven't been able to use a tripod for months. I'll be going back up to uni though with Ed soon to get all my stuff and uh, hit a few sessions up there, make some content up there, so stay tuned for that. Right, so starting off with the 15 kgs. Oh, we're just warming up, right? So I see people doing like 10, 12 reps on a warm-up set. It's just not needed. Like five to eight reps, feeling the motion of the movement, slow on the way down. Perform it exactly the way you would if it was a working set, just less reps. You're just getting a feel for the weight. Literally, it's a warm-up. It's not meant to exhaust the shoulders at all. There you go, that's literally all you need. I see people banging out a full set on their warm-ups. It's not needed. Take it from me, all right? My shoulders are fucking massive. It's not needed. I've been sat here and I ain't even fucking started the hard style, like. Can't be a session unless there's banging hard style on in here. So let's get some fucking Tevez on. New playlist is... Co playlist coming out soon. I've been making it for a while. I keep saying, oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to finish it, but I do have a few tunes on there, and just wait for it, alright, it'll be dropping on my Instagram, Harrison JP Sullivan, just make sure you're following that and you'll see it, it won't be long, I'm telling you now, it won't be long, I've got all the best hardstyle tunes, I'll tell you that now, this is a banger, let's turn it up, oh, time to get the pump cover off, it's one of them jackets they sent me. If you've watched the video from yesterday, which actually I haven't even uploaded yet, so I don't know why I'm saying the video from yesterday. I might even post this one first, but fuck. Looking shredded, anyway. Yeah, if you've watched the other video, which might be coming after this, or it might be before it, but I got sent a couple tops. They're decent, but you can't see the chest, so. Probably won't be banging these to the gym, but for now, they're whatever. Look at me repping the different angles, like... Who needs a cameraman? Who needs a cameraman? All right, 30 kg, first set. Watch the form. Also, make sure to let me know in the comments if you prefer, like, me walking you through a full session like I am now. Or just montage, quick, get through it. I thought I'd give out some tips, though. Some of you might actually want to fucking learn something, who knows? Slow on the way down, control. <sighs> oh. So note there, right? On the first set, I won't go all the way to failure. Like, I'll leave one or two reps in reserve, because I'm gonna be doing about 10, 15 sets of this right now. So, you don't wanna burn out on your first set, then I need to go down to like the 25s and 15s. You're better off doing a few sets, leaving some reps in reserve, and then the last 50% of the sets maybe, that's where you kill it, going to failure, every set. Already got a nasty pump. I'm looking shredded. This ring light don't do me justice. Let me turn this off. Get under the down lighting. Fuck. Whoa. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Rest times for this, I don't know, like, looking at a minute, I never count. I think people that count are weirdos. Um, you don't need to be counting, just, just take as long as you need, as long as you feel like you've recovered, but don't take the piss with it. So like, don't be taking five minutes. Just give yourself a minute to recover and go straight back in. Woo! Let's go.
shredded, no? Fuck. I look shredded. All right, next exercise I'm going into. Next, is it there? Next exercise I'm going into, seated lateral raises. Reason I'm doing them seated, take as much tension off the traps as possible because they often get involved. You want to really be focusing on not swinging forward and back too much. Lean forward a bit because that takes more tension off of your traps and puts them onto your side delts. And raise up, squeeze at the top and lower down. I'll show you how to do it with good form. Probably hit about 10 sets of these to be honest. And that's all you need to do for your shoulders. People don't hit their lateral raises enough. They do too much front delt. I know I've done a lot of front delt, but I'm also doing a lot of side delt as well. Um, so it doesn't really matter. I just want the biggest shoulders possible because I think they're aesthetic as fuck. I think they're the most, probably the most important muscle to have big for that aesthetic physique. So I hit them hard, hit them high volume. A lot of people also tell you, st don't do front delts, you hit enough with the chest. That's bullshit. Since I started hitting front delts, my shoulders are fucking blown up. They look way better than they did before. So hit your front delts, people. Eight or nine sets of uh, normal laterals. I'm just gonna do a couple sets with a drop set, and I'll do one set now to show you the intensity that you've got to work at if you want these fucking shoulders. Not these shoulders, well, these shoulders, but do you know what I mean? I, don't, I didn't literally mean these shoulders, but these are pretty fucking sick shoulders. Anyway. <sighs> Drop set. Ah. Oh, that's sort of intensity you've got to be working at. Proper to failure on them drop sets. Gonna go into triceps now, starting with rope extensions. Then we might do some skull crushers and that'll be it. The hardest session to film ever, like fuck me. Getting these angles is, is a joke. But anyway, I want to explain the uh, tricep extension because a lot of people, I see them doing it wrong. So if I can just set, yeah, there we go, right. All right, so. The way I like to do them, right, is I see a lot of people standing like this, right, and sort of maybe going like this or some like this. I think the best way to get a full squeeze on the tricep is to lean into it, start position here, not up here, which a lot of people do. Start here with your elbows pinned and squeeze down almost behind you a little bit and squeeze at the end and rotate your arm, your wrists like that. So you get the best squeeze like that on the tricep. And I think a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people uh, have it out in front of them. And I just feel like you get more bang for your buck doing the exercise like that. Give it a go. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Because honestly, I think since I've started doing that, I've seen better gains on my tricep than before. And I don't know, you can't put it down to just one exercise. Maybe I've been just training them harder, but I can feel the squeeze in the tricep better. So. It's a better exercise for me. So give it a shot, see what you think about it. Let's get into a little montage of the triceps because fuck talking, I'm, I'm just, now, I'm actually exhausted. Like training when you're lean, you just get so, unless you're pre-workout tid, unless you're pre, I can't even speak. Unless you're pre workout it up, that's not even a word, what am I saying? Unless you've fucking taken a lot of pre-workout, right? Then you just get tired very quickly. Like lose it, I'm not hungry. I'm not sleepy tired, but just fatigued, like, just, honestly, it's sort of like, you just can't be arsed. Even though I'm enjoying it, I just can't really be arsed, like, my body's just tired. But anyway, enough ruffling, let's go. So all of them tricep extensions now done. So we've got the nice contraction there. Now we're looking just for a compound movement for the triceps. And there's nothing better than close grip bench. This is something else I see the vast majority of people in the gym doing wrong. And I'm gonna show you why in a sec. All right, so this is the mistake that I see a lot of people doing when they're trying to do close grip. I see them pulling the bar down to their chest and then pushing up. That just gets chest activation, which, which isn't needed. You wanna hit your triceps only in this movement. You don't wanna get your chest involved as well. 
we've already hit our chest yesterday. We don't want to do it again. So what you want to do is you want to bring it down to just when the elbows are 90 degrees because past then is all chest. Doing this doesn't give you any more tricep activation than just simply doing that. So you'll see when I start now that I'm doing it properly and that's the way to keep tension on the triceps as well. So time under tension goes up, more gains. So elbow, sh shoulder width apart, oh, sorry not elbows, grab onto the bar, shoulder width apart. Retract your scapula and press. You'll notice I'm stopping early. Ooh. You can see with that, wasn't coming down to the chest, kept the tension on my triceps. This is a great, probably the best mass builder for the triceps, really hits the long head, which is what you want to do when you're, when you're posing like this. The long head's what makes the bottom of the tricep thick, so very important muscle to hit. So there we go. Five sets of this probably, maybe a bit more, depending on, I literally, I don't even count sets, so I don't know why I say all five sets, like, I just do a lot of sets each exercise, I do a lot of sets. Um, as simple as that, so let's get into it. tricep exercise we want to find a stretch something that we can get a stretch with and that's always behind the head shit and I'm lazy I like lying down so I'm gonna do it on a bench skull crushers with a dumbbell behind the head elbows back and get the stretch of the tricep we've hit it from all three different angles now we've got the contraction we've got the fucking pressing movement and then we've got the stretch as well so what more could you want let's get into it with these like you really don't need a heavy weight scullies behind the head like I'll probably be doing 10 kgs, so like, yeah, really nothing heavy at all. It's all about with this one, especially because it's the last exercise and our uh, triceps are already fucked. It's all about the form, all about the form. So lightweight, slow negatives, squeezing it, feeling it. Don't even know why I'm gonna guess the amount of sets I'm gonna do, because I don't have a clue. Probably minimum five, maybe upwards of 10, depending on how bored, hungry I get. I'm beginning to build up a slight hunger, so yeah. We'll see how many sets I do. Let me just take you through the form. All right, so with this, elbows behind the head. So you start like this, pull your shoulders back, elbows back, slowly down behind your head, and then up. So you wanna be at towards the end of the bench so that you can, uh, so you've got room for the dumbbells to go behind you. So at the end of the bench, shoulders back, bang, and up. And that's perfect form. Hit the long head yet again, and if you squeeze, so at the top of the movement with your hand as it's coming up, it's uh, parallel with your bicep almost, and then at the top you squeeze it like this, you twist your wrist outwards, and that'll hit the medial head of your tricep as well. So yeah, that's the perfect form. These, when you're choosing a weight, right? These start off pretty easy and they get very difficult towards the end, especially if you keep good form. Because it's the last exercise, I'd literally be looking to do upwards of 10 reps, even up to sort of like 17, 18 reps, like really fuck the muscle. The last, last, literally the last exercise you're doing. So yeah, I always like to do a bit of more high volume on the last ones and always focus even more on the form than I do in uh, previous exercises, if that's even possible, because as you've seen, I really do focus on forms. So I think that that is the key to making decent gains and excellent gains, nailing in your form. So like I said, few exercises, perfect the form, and you're done. This has literally been a perfect shoulder and tricep day. There's nothing else I'd include in it, and if anyone else has, thinks I've missed something out, then you're wrong, bro, because I ain't. This is literally everything. Front head, lateral head. I do rear delts on, um, on a uh, on back day, so yeah, that's why I haven't done any rear delts today. I like to do them on a on a pull day or a back day, something like that. But yeah, perfect way to end the session. Let's go. Four, five, six more sets. Two failure or close to. So shoulder and shoulder and tricep workout complete now 
The pump is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Have a look at this. Oh, let's get this zooming in. Fuck me, this zooms in slow. Arm pump absolutely ridiculous right now. And the delt's kind of popping off. Fuck, man. Delt's kind of popping off right now. Got the shreds in the shoulders. Looks like a successful workout to me anyway. Yeah, very good workout. Done a lot of sets, a lot of volume. Gas for the gyms to be open in a few days. Oh, this is definitely gonna be zoomed in a lot, innit? I'm not looking at it. Let me look at this. <laughs> oh, you can kind of peng though. Anyway, yeah, workout done, completed. Gym's opening soon. Let's get it. Comment down below what you want to see next. If you prefer the sorts of, actually to be fair, this ain't going to be a video that I normally make like, when it's me filming myself with shit angles. But if you know what the sort of gist like of me, I'm, I'm chatting absolute shit, aren't I? When I'm tired, fuck. If you like the gist of these videos, like me explaining how to do the form, all of that, or if you prefer montages, drop it in the comments below and I'll just do it because I'll do whatever you want to see. Leave it a like if you got this far. Really appreciate all the support I got on the last couple vids. So yeah, see you in the next one.